meet me in City Park Saturday at noon. You may not be a complete stranger, but bad things can happen if a girl is not careful enough. Have a red rose so I can recognize you. I'm sorry, are you Jonathan by any chance? For you, lady, I'll be anything you want. I'm sorry, that was a stupid joke. I'm Jonathan, and you'd be Sophia? Yes, I'm Sophia. And this is for you. So you forgiving me? Not really. You need to make it up to me. That'd be my pleasure. What'd you have in mind? I believe you're the man, so you should surprise me. But first, why don't we sit over there and chat? It sounds like a great plan. Are you being funny again? No, this is a wise meeting place. Very comfortable and secure for you. Please don't misunderstand me. You must hear about all those bad stories of online dating. You don't have to worry about me. I honestly don't understand these men who rape and kill women. So you believe in a punishment once they're caught? Well, sometimes I have to wonder if that's not why they kill their victims, to get rid of the witness. On the other hand, I read about a rapist in Germany a long time ago. He would target women passing through a field full of rolling terrain from a nearby train station. He would talk to them and appear so charismatic that he'd have sex with them right there, voluntarily. But that's not rape. Well, after sleeping with them, when the women were leaving, he'd attack them from behind with scissors, stabbing them to death. It wasn't the sex at all, but the killing that gave him the ultimate satisfaction. So did they catch him? He was a real psychopath. On the weekends, he'd go to the local market and listen to people talking about the rapist. The town was terrified. He had a wife and a regular life. No one suspected him or anything. How can someone lead to lives like that? Yeah, listen to this. Women weren't doing it for him anymore. He turned to young men and boys. He attacked two boys and one of them got away. And that's how he got caught. Jesus, why are you telling me this? We just met. I don't know. It just happened. Didn't you ask? I'm sorry. Really, I am. I'm being a terrible date. Yes, you are. I've never had such an unusual experience on first dates. So far, our conversation has been about rapists and murders. You know what? Let's go and eat or something. I know a good restaurant that'll change the direction of our whole first date. That's nice, but I'd rather go home now. Why? Why do you want to leave me so soon? I have so much to tell you. <laughs> How about what, rapists? No, no. No more rapists or murderers, I promise. Well, I'd rather go home. I can see there's no change in your mind. At least. Can I give you a ride home? Don't take me wrong, but I'd rather go home by taxi, alone. Well, I get to see you again. Maybe, if you can think of a better subject. I'll have something, I promise. I don't know what's wrong with me today. It must be your beauty that distracted me. It must be a defense mechanism. I just couldn't control myself. Defense mechanism to me. You know how important first impressions are. I was afraid of rejection. I really was. I didn't know what to say. I wanted you to think of me as interesting. You've dug your hole. Don't bury yourself in. I won't say another word. I 
I hope we'll meet again. Here's a goodbye kiss for the effort. <laughs>